So you know those days where you just want to load up 2K? You know, grab a few buckets, get a few clips here and there, have some fun. But all of a sudden, you're just not feeling it. And this day, I was having one of those days with, with eight minutes left in the game. I was like one for six, couldn't hit open shots, doing the Ben Simmons right here and just forgetting how to play basketball, man. And it was one of those games where... I just didn't have it. I just didn't have it. I was selling for my teammates. And, you know, if I was playing my team or play now online, I, I wouldn't feel too bad if it was a bad game. A bad game's a bad game. But now you're letting down your teammates and I'm doing this dumb stuff. But if there's something to learn from this game, it's just you got to play through those rough periods in the game. Just contribute to winning and the game will find you. So I start this game, you know, I wasn't feeling too good I, I wasn't myself you know it was a bad sign when i missed an open midi like that and i'm like you know what something was off the vibe was off and my matchup this guy with the blue hair he was out to kill me man he was shooting all kinds of wild stuff and he was making them too and and you know missing that first open midi really sapped my confidence I, I've, I've noticed that in Rec, I'm starting off a little bit too passively to try to get people involved. And that comes at the expense of my rhythm and my offense. I'm, I'm actually happy that I hit this set shot right here. Just make that bucket to maybe improve my confidence. But as you can see right there, that should have been a scoop layup or a floater. Instead, I take it a little bit too far and get blocked as a result. So what do I do? No, I'm just play my role as a good point guard even though i'm not feeling it in the offensive end and try to set my teammates up but i i don't understand it man you know open i create i'm creating a lot of these open shots and open opportunities for my teammates just being a good point guard because offensively my shot creation wasn't right there today i wasn't even doing a lot of these moves and i thought that move should have been a shot but i wasn't confident in what i could do so instead i'm just here trying to be passive and I, as i said a little bit too passive maybe i should have try to be more aggressive and try to create for my own get my own rhythm but what made this worse was that the blue haired guy my matchup was killing me to the point that our lock was intent on trying to take the matchup away from me just so he could contain that offense and it, it would this this just characterizes how i was in the first half man it was just uncharacteristic play one after the other i tried to space the floor out set some screens but that's not what this build really is for this build is contributing by staying aggressive on offense and not necessarily just shooting the ball as you can see my defense right there was pretty bad I, I didn't switch on when a guy just wanted to try and take my matchup my switch was very late but as I said I'm only contributing if I'm aggressive on offense whether I'm scoring the ball or creating for my teammate and at this point I was neither of that and it was a terrible feeling man to make things worse, I gambled on the steal right here when I know my build can't steal for nothing, man. I have a 25 steal rating. My matchup right here had 19 points, shooting 83% from three. And at that point, if I'm not contributing on offense and on defense, I'm getting killed. Then I'm a huge net negative for my team. And as you can see right here, the lack of confidence is manifesting in me turning down shots that I would normally make and take. So this guy right here with the, with the green hair was actually carrying our offense he was uh the secondary point guard for the team he was actually a shooting guard i think but he was great man he was aggressive he knew how to really attack those open spaces and pass when he needed to even though i was having a bad game and at this point with eight minutes left one for six shooting one of three from three overall passing up open shots that should have been a layup instead i took it out because there were two guys on me so it was a bad game and i thought you know this was gonna this was actually my first bad game in rec i've had bad games in other games but that was mostly because guys were just ball hogging and freezing me out of the offense so here i'm trying to create something for myself trying to get a rhythm but not trying to force things too much i had the layup right there but i saw two on me so i thought the corner pass would be open we get a good rotation and we still ended up with three points even though i had that open layup but as you can see right here i was it, it almost seemed impossible anytime we tried to make a run they would make a counter run and now we're down by 12 once again as close as we got at this point i think it was seven down but here i am spacing the floor i did enough of the little things to get takeover and now at the start of fourth quarter just hitting a three of feeling bit a little bit better about myself my teammate sets a good screen there on drop coverage and you know what i'm taking that shot regardless of how bad i was shooting all day i had takes so it gave me an extra bit of confidence 
And sometimes that's all you need, man. You just got to play through the difficulties, play through the struggles. And at this point, my matchup was disrespecting me so much that he was actually trying to go for an offensive rebound when he hasn't got a single chance on getting that. So I just leak out, get the easy two points. Here he is again trying to create something, setting screens from his different guards in his center. But there, me and, me and my green-haired teammate here did a really good job of containing that. And as you can see, things can flip really quickly. We're now down by two off of that great move. And what you see right here is me being a good teammate, giving my teammate the space he needs to attack those gaps, create confusion, create rotations. And as you can see right here, by me just spacing the floor the right way, my teammates recognizing the open space, gave me an open lane to the basket, and I'm now up to 15 points after struggling really for almost the full three quarters. And here for the rest of the game, I won't be cutting the footage anymore. I want to show you how building those good habits within the game even though my teammate there just sold and basically didn't want to give the ball up i should have leaked out a little bit early and tried to contain that on defense my guy right here was taunting me saying i was too small well guess what you gotta play defense so i asked for the ball me having a subpar game but maybe a decent game right now and i was like i'm letting this fly boom doesn't matter how bad you start it's how you finish man and the, the, the few things I did within the game to get me going, not forcing things, giving my teammates the time to cook. I, I made a bad defensive play there, got ball caught ball watching, and I paid for it with a three. And But at this point, I'm feeling it, man. Doesn't matter what's going on. As soon as I got my rhythm, I knew what I had to do. But here, again, my man wanted to attack. He was having a good game all game. He was actually still passing me the ball even though I was selling a little bit for a long part of that game. So I gave him space to cook and he got us all tied up. And at this point, we were playing great defense. Remember, blue-haired guy had 19 points at the half. He struggled. And, and at this point, I thought I had it. I had gold blinders and he was at my side. I missed that shot. Should have been a should have been a three-point lead going our way. But here, now they have to respect my three-point shot. I do a little stop and go hezzy, attack the basket for a scoop layup, and now I'm feeling really confident. At this point, I know if I get the ball, my my def my matchup can't defend me either. I couldn't defend him in the first half, but now in the second half, I figured things out. Ran the lane, and guess what? Doesn't matter how bad you start. Play the game the right way, finish the game the right way biggest shot of the game right there and as you can see they didn't know how to structure their offense the good thing about playing rec with randoms is when you're developing chemistry with your team mid game me and the green haired guy we were right here we were locked in lockstep with each other i knew how to play off of him i knew how to space the floor didn't bother him when he wanted to cook and another dagger three that deserves a mike breen bang man as you can see doesn't matter how you start it's how you finished. I had the worst game of my life at rec up to this point, but it doesn't take much to dominate the game and take control of the game. Keep focused, play for your teammates, play for your team, stay patient, space the floor, play basketball the right way. Eventually, the ball will find you back. Trust your teammates, make the right plays, contribute to winning. Now, as you can see, I ended up leading the team in points. But shout out to my teammates, man, especially my point guard. My secondary point guard right here still tried to find me even though I was having a bad game. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. And I'll see you in the next one.